Recently, I was re-watching The Boys in preparation for season 4 and I noticed something that changed my life forever and I'm guaranteeing it will change yours too. And that is that the fact that The Seven doesn't have seven members and it threw me into a pit of depression. How could Vought lie to me like this? I trusted them, so I set out to find every member that had joined or left The Seven to get a definitive answer as to whether The Seven should be called Homelander's Doom Platoon. The very original lineup of The Seven before the events of season 1 takes place is Homelander, Queen Maeve, Black Noir, Mr. Marathon, Lamplighter, Translucent and The Deep. At some point before the start of the show, Mr. Marathon leaves and is replaced by the A-Train. This then leads to the events of Season 1, where we see in the very first episode that Starlight has been recruited to replace Lamplighter after he was forced to resign by Stan Edgar. Huey then meets Billy Butcher after the death of his girlfriend Robin, and the two fight and stick a bomb up Translucent's butt, causing him to explode. Meaning as of the first episode of the show, the seven is now down to the six. Then later in Season 1, the Deep is exposed by Starlight for flashing her when she joined the team, and a whole bunch of other SA cases are opened up, and the Deep is forced to leave. You could say he found himself in a deep situation. Okay, I'll see myself out. But hit the subscribe button if you love the boys. So now we are down to five, but the A train then suffers a heart attack after overdosing from too much compound V and ends up being useless anyway for two seasons. So it's actually down to four now. At the start of season two, we finally have a new member joined the seven since Starlight joined all the way back in season one, episode one, and that is Blindspot. You thought I was going to see Stormfront, didn't you? But originally, Blindspot was hired by Ashley as a diversity hire, but Homelander then rejects him since he, and I quote, doesn't want a cripple in the seven. Um, I don't know. I do this. You didn't see that coming? So then we get Stormfront, who has been called to replace Translucent after Vought covers up his death as a heroic sacrifice. So the total is now back up to 6, but remember, A-Train is still unavailable, and Starlight does get imprisoned, so it's actually down to 4. A-Train was about to get replaced by Shockwave, but he gets his head popped by Newman in Washington, and Stormfront also gets exposed for being a Nazi, and Vought kick her off the team, much to Homelander's dismay. The Church of the Collective then meet up with Stan Edgar, who allows A-Train to join, but not the deep. But since A-Train still can't use his powers, and Stormfront is badly beaten by Ryan after facing the boys. This leaves the total at the end of Season 2 to be 4. Season 3 begins with Starlight becoming the new co-captain of the Seven. Homelander then forces Vought to bring back the Deep, and now the Seven is back to having 6 members, and the final member of the Seven gets chosen from the reality show and he ends up being supersonic. However, that lasts about a day, because Homelander then brutally rips him apart for staging a coup with Starlight. After the events of Herogasm, Starlight then exposes Homelander on a live stream and publicly resigns her role from the Seven, making the total back down to 5. Homelander then kills Black Noir, bringing the total down to 4, and Maeve sacrifices herself to stop Soldier Boy in the finale of Season 3, leaving the total down to 3, but she isn't dead, just has no powers. This leaves the remaining members at the end of Season 3 to be Homelander, A-Train, and The Deep. From the Season 4 trailer, we see a whole bunch of new members join The Seven, and those being Black Noir 2.0, Sister Sage, and Firecracker. But this leaves the current total to be 6. There's still one member missing from The Seven, and that could be filled in in the 4th season with one of the new Guardians of Godolkin, aka Kate Sam. It is highly likely that Sam could be the new Black Noir, though I really want it to be a clone of Homelander. It could also be Ryan as Black Noir since he pretty much has Homelander's powers and he is much taller than when we last saw him. But the one thing I figured out from this video is that the only way to truly make it into the Seven is by being a Homelander Glazer. Subscribe if you don't want to get kidnapped by four.